Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a walkthrough on how to set up a Google account. Now the reason I've chosen Google is that many of the applications you'll want to use online uh, require a Google account to sign in to use them properly. So for example things like YouTube and Blogger require a Google account to, uh, to use them properly. You can view things on YouTube without logging in but certainly being able to log in will open up some new options for you. So to start off with go into your internet browser and just type in google.ie or google.com will bring you to the same uh, page and you can see here we've got the Google Ireland landing page. Now what we want to do is we want to come up here to the options to sign in. So I'm going to click on that Now, if you already have a Google account, you don't need to do this, but um, what we're doing here is setting one up from scratch. So what we need to do is come down to the option here for create an account and click on that. So I'm going to go through this absolutely step by step and you'll see what's required for you to do as we go through this. So the first thing is we're going to put in our name and our username and, and the email address and things like that. So I'm just going to call this account, um, let me see now, something that's easy to remember. Just in case, and I'm going to call the email uh, account, or sorry, the username for the account. Again, let me think, uh, we'll just say, just for showing you at gmail.com. I'm just going to use some email address that uh, is not private to me, um, uh, just for demonstration purposes. So again, I'm going to create a password. You can see here that it's asking you to use at least eight characters. Um, so it's entirely up to you what you want to choose. You can put in letters, numbers, capitals, you can put in signs like the percentage sign and things like that. So I leave that up to you. The more complicated it is, the more secure it's going to be. So I'm just going to put something in here. And you can see here that I've typed in seven letters, so it's given me the indication that it's too short. So I'm just going to go back and pick something else instead. Okay, and I've put in more than eight and it's telling me my password is strong. So now I have to type in the same password again. I'm just going to type in one that's not quite the same. And if I go down to the next section here, it's going to tell me these passwords don't match. Try again. So you have to make sure that you get your password typed in correctly both times. Now, date of birth. Well, today is, uh, today is what, the 27th of May. So I'm just going to go May 27. And I'm going to put in the year... Um, 1990. I am male, female, so again, all this information can go in. Your mobile number, I don't think that is, um, I don't think that's required right now, so I'm going to skip that for the moment. Your current email address, well, I'm going to say we don't have one. And then prove that uh, you're not a robot by looking at these numbers here and it says 443 so type in 443 here location Ireland and I'm going to go to next step and see what happens now it's asking me up here would I like to remember my password for just for showing you on google.com and I'm going to go yes to that privacy terms um, now, you may have heard different things about privacy and Google. I'll let you to, to research that for yourself and satisfy yourself. Personally, I have no problem using Google. The benefits that I get from the products it provides far outweigh any concerns that I might have about privacy. Basically, I don't put anything up on Google or associate anything with my email address that, uh, that I, I wouldn't want to be public anyway. I've got nothing to hide, so I don't have any particular problems with that. So you won't be able to go any further if you click on cancel. You basically have to agree to their privacy terms. Okay, so create your public Google profile. Um, I'm going to skip that for now because all I want to do is just get the account up and running. So I'm just going to go no thanks to that. 
So now we've got a welcome page saying that my new email address is just for showing you at gmail.com. You can see here that we've got the profile. If I click on this, um, we could look at our Google Plus profile if we had it, but we don't, so it's okay. Um, and you can see here the number of things that are going to be useful for us using a Gmail account. Uh, Google services or Google Now on your Android phone, e emails, the internet browser, YouTube, Google Maps, the Play Store and Google Plus for social networking. So there's a whole lot of things that can be used. So I'm just going to click on get started and see what happens here. And now it's bringing me to the same landing page I had five minutes ago. The only difference is that it now has me logged in as just for showing you at gmail.com. If I click on my Gmail up here, it'll bring me directly to my Gmail account, uh, my email account, without having to re-log in because I've already logged in uh, by creating the account in my browser. So it's just going to take a second. And there's probably only going to be a couple of uh, welcome mails and things like that from Google at the moment. So I'm just going to close this uh, down here for a second. And you can see here I've got three emails from the Gmail team. And they're basically just saying welcome to Gmail and some tutorials on how to use it. But that is now my email um, inbox for that account. Things that I can do from here, if I click on these three buttons, uh, sorry, these nine buttons up here, it brings in the applications. And one of the things we're going to look at is we're going to be looking at how to set up a blog and how to get on that. Well, because you've got a Gmail account and a Google account now, you've automatically got access to a blogging platform called Blogger. You won't see it on here, but if you come down to more, you've got Blogger down here. So shortly I'm going to put up a video as a walkthrough on how to get going in Blogger, but this video has just been a quick outline on how to get a, a Google account set up for yourself. Once you've got your Google account set up, you've got all these different applications up here that you can use with it.